，预备，走。Shift to the left leg. So, Mabu. Yes. So, so. So relax. So in this movement, shooting the arrow, one important part is that your hip is always turning together in coordination with your movement. Yes. So for example, please uh, let me show you here. When you're going like this, the hip and the, and the feet together with the hands is turning and when you open, you open slowly together with the shoulder. Yes? And please one more time, when you go slowly, once slowly together, you finish, hip and hand movement should finish together. Then you're going and the hip movement finish when the hand is at the center, when you're here. Okay? And then you're starting to push outside. Okay, relax. So make sure you figure out this coordination. So by start at the end is always the same for the hip and the feet or, and the hands. You shouldn't start or finish one movement sooner than the other. So after the coordination, one more important part is the tension. The tension and the relaxation must be in harmony within the body. So there are certain parts that need the tension and there are certain parts that need the relaxation. Uh, so uh, please go once again into the movement. And yes, when, you, when we're standing in the marble position, yes, you, you relax the shoulder, push down the shoulders if you can't relax them. But you try to stretch them outside with this point here. This is the energy point, yes. And here you're pushing. Yes, don't overstretch the elbow. Try to keep the arm really straight. Yeah, this way is overstretched. Try to stay straight here. Okay, and then you're pushing. And now we go. You turn hip coordination. Turn in slowly. You breathe in. Then you sh then you then you shooting the arrow. You tension and relax the elbow while you do that. Okay, and then you relax. Okay. Is one more time, breathe in. And now we see here, the tension in the right hand, yes, connects with the tension in the, in the left heel. So the tension goes through the body. And this way you should feel the stretching here in the back when you turn and then you go. Breathe slowly and breathe out, all right? And relax. When we go through the movement, there, like I said before, there is a part uh, that has tension and the other part has the relaxation. So for now we know that the hand and the feet that go through the body on the outside connect with tension. The other parts connect with relaxation. So you relax the shoulder, you try to relax your stance in gombo, this position is called the gombo position. You simply try to stay calm here and quiet. The tension here is just uh, not moving and you simply try to hold it and relax as much as possible. You open the hip because you're also turning with the hip. And the right shoulder that is pulling the arrow is simply pulling with the movement of your hip and not with the movement of your arm. You can see here, the arm and elbow don't really move. You're simply turning. This way you can utilize the, the strength of your position to pull the, pull the bow. 
Yeah? When, you, when you would use the arm, it would just be the arm and there is no internal power. So the next uh, focus point for you should be that you try to utilize the hip without moving the elbow and breathe together with the movement. So here you breathe in, then you hold the breath, you turn the hip, the tension increases here, shoulder hand, and then at the end push outside with both arms. Understand? So for now let's do the full movement traditionally three times on each side. Übel. So. Fingers forward. Shift to the left side. Knee up. So. And we go into Mabu. Look at the right and so. Turn together with the hip movement. Open, hold the breath and push outside. So. Always relax the elbow. So. 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 So, slowly relax, go up. <laughs> 